if you get her on the stand, you can ask him anything you like about the transcripts and the five hours of interviews he did with the then Vice President Biden. So if he make, takes the stand, you've got all the information you need. What are you going to ask him? Well, to me, you know, what, 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 my frustration with the, with the report is that there were no charges. I mean, we've seen very different uh, levels of uh, the application of justice depending on who you are. President Trump, of course, was uh, his home in Mar-a-Lago was raided, uh, and President Biden gets let off scot-free. So what were the decision-making processes? And I, and I would really want to delve into the, the mental faculties of the president. If that was raised in the, in the, in the special counsel's report, what, what led him to believe that? Well, he did uh, several interviews over a period of years, and the report suggests that his condition, his mental condition, obviously declined significantly in that period of years. So you've got that to go at. It, ju it just occurs to me that this whole thing is just not going to go away. And her, the report, when he testifies, that's going to bring it right front and center all over again. No, I think so. Look, I mean, Democrats have been gaslighting this for a long time, saying that he's never been sharper. I think the American people can plainly see they don't have to have a medical degree. Uh, they can plainly see a diminished capacity. And so we want to explore that.